What a season it's been already for those uh, named storms. All right, it's 747. Let's check our local weather now. Starting off really nice out there this morning, Michelle. It's beautiful looking over the highway this morning. Lots of sunshine in store again today. We mm. do have some clouds down along the coastline, tracking some diminishing showers that have been pushing across Connecticut. So no threat to us taking a look at the situation down in Louisiana and Texas right now with Nicholas. It's been downgraded back to a tropical storm, but a strong one at 70 mile an hour sustained winds, very heavy rain, storm surge flooding for much of Louisiana and the northeast corner of Texas too. And that system going to continue to only slowly move eastward before dissipating. So continuing to weaken and bringing very heavy rainfall to areas that have already been drenched and hard hit this hurricane season. Meanwhile, for our area, we don't see direct impacts from Nicholas, but we're watching an area of disturbed weather across the western Atlantic right now. It's hundreds of miles to the east of the Bahamas. It could gradually strengthen into a tropical depression as it moves up through the western Atlantic over the next couple of days. So we're going to keep an eye on that for later Thursday and Friday, early Saturday. I'm going to keep, I'll uh, show you what we're tracking. In the short term, things are quite Another couple of days today and tomorrow of rain free weather. Then tomorrow night brings in a chance for some showers and thunderstorms, isolated strong to severe storms. A possibility if it comes in a little earlier than what we're thinking right now, expecting those to hold off until 9 or 10 o'clock at night. So, our Newport live camera here, Hotel Viking, beautiful morning. Same goes into Providence, taking the bike path up maybe into the capital city, biking to work. Great morning to do it. 61 degrees in the capital city, 56 in New Bedford, and we're still in the 50s in Smithfield. Again, the showers that we been watching over Connecticut are weakening, bringing a little bit of cloudiness to coastal Rhode Island right now, widening out the view that's happening along a front. The front doesn't move through our area until tonight. That's when we bring back some more humid air and then that cold front gradually approaching will bring us some scattered showers for Wednesday night and Thursday. This is 10 o'clock this morning, upper 60s to near 70 degrees by that point by one in the afternoon, mid to upper 70s inland, lower 70s along the coastline and a comfortable late afternoon and evening across the areas holding on to dry weather for any after school or after work plans you might have. Tonight is not going to be as comfortable as last night. Humidity is on the rise. Temperatures only drop to the upper 60s and then will actually rise as the night goes on. And we could see some patchy fog developing. I do expect us to stay dry through the daytime tomorrow. This is 930 in the morning. Showers and thunderstorms gradually pushing in by Wednesday night. Keeping an eye again on what will be developing offshore well south of us. This is Thursday morning, some scattered showers possible at times Thursday. Low pressure as it moves to the south and eventually southeast of us could deliver some clouds and showers for Friday and Friday night before moving away over the daytime on Saturday. So here's how the seven day looks. Our temperatures in the upper 70s today, lower 80s for tomorrow. It's warm, it's breezy, and it's humid. Temperatures well above average, but we're cooler once we bring in those scattered showers and extra clouds for Thursday and Friday. Doesn't look like a washout for either one of these days, but a little bit unsettled. Then clearing skies expected on Saturday morning with a warm weekend ahead of us. Still close to 80, well above average.